Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on introduction to safety instrumented system SIS and this topic will be on SIS terminologies. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. SIS terminologies, the objectives, why do we need to understand? Provide different terminologies in safety instrumented system design, implementation, commissioning and maintenance. Users, who will be the users of these terminologies? Safety instrumented system coach, who are responsible for the SIS design. Instrumentation automation engineers, who are involved in SIS design, maintenance, operation personnel, maintenance teams, like instrument maintenance specialist, technicians, well maintenance specialist and technician in this presentation we will be seeing lot of abbreviations only there is no other graphical or pictorial presentations because this topic is all mentioned for the terminologies only okay below the different terminologies which we have to use in our practice of safety instrumented system lopa lopa stands for layer of protection analysis we will be discussing in a separate presentation about LOPA. HAZAP. HAZAP stands for Hazard and Operability Studies. And BPCS. BPCS stands for Basic Process Control System, which people may be aware. Also, it is known as DCS, Distributed Control System. Actually, since we are talking about the topic on SIS, those, the credits which are taken in the BPCS column in the LOPA workbook, or considered as BPCS loops. We will be going through the LOPA in future representation so you can understand about it. OPR. OPR stands for Operator Response to Alarm. And those credits that are credited in OPR column in LOPA workbook are considered as OPR tax. And Safety Instrumented System. SIS. This we are talking in a frequent so we will be easily understanding this terminology. SIF. SIF stands for safety instrumented function. The whole function which SIS is performing is known as safety instrumented function. PFD. PFD stands for probability of failure on demand. That is the probability of that a system will fail to perform a specified function upon demand. This is known as PFD. And TA. TA stands for proof test interval. Uh, in the SIS process, and during life cycle and other study, uh, we will be understanding about the proof test requirement and TA stands for the proof test interval. SRS, this is known as safety requirement specification. And this is a design requirement uh, specification which has to be filled. It is an Excel sheet based template. The SIS design, implementation and commissioning is documented in SRS template. This is part of the designs, SIS design requirement, whoever will be working on it has to understand and fill up the safety requirement specification before going into the process implementation. Proof test. Proof test is a periodic test performed to detect dangerous failures which are not detected by automatic diagnostic tests to demonstrate that the equipment operates according to the design basis and is maintained in as good as new condition. A proof test is being performed for the safety instrumented system sensors, logic solvers and final elements to ensure that they operate whenever there is a demand, whenever there is any hazard happening and it is occurring to act that has to the sensor final elements has to act and verification. It is a confirmation by examination of objective evidence that the requirements have been filled Test performed on the SIS instrumentation to ensure that tests performed on the SIS instrumentation to ensure that they perform as designed. This is known as verification. So when we study about the SIS design, we will be using these terminologies. Validation. The act of proving a safety instrumented system acts as expected upon initial installation or after functional modification by performing a physical test of the complete system end to end. Validation means we have to test the particular scenario, particular operation sequence of the safety instrumented function. So it is being done by initiating the sensor 
to reach the limit maximum limit to sense the level high pressure high temperature high whatever it is and then operate the logic and i mean the the logic is being performed automatically and then the respective final element is taking action to close okay the the, the complete testing is known as validation and this is performed only once when the system is implemented or the safety instrument system is modified okay logic function it is a function that performs the transformations between input information provided by one or more input functions that is provided by multiple sensors and output information used by one or more output functions so similarly there may be two valves which is required to close based on some logic so the, all these mathematical functions based on the process requirement based on the safety instrument and study is being implemented using the logic function and mttr it is a mean time to restore actually if there is an instrument failure this is the expected time of the instrument to restore from a fault if there is an instrument failure during the operation or maintenance so it has to be restored and put back within a certain time so this is known as mean time to response restore mean time to restore sil sil stands for safety integrity level this is ranging from sil 1 to sil 4 so higher the sil lower the expected pfd average pfd is probability failure on, probability of failure on demand average lower the average frequency of dangerous failure causing an hazardous event if there is a higher sill level like sill 3 sill 4 and all it is the highest safety and diagnostic coverage this stands for measures diagnostic coverage is the one which measures the effectiveness of the diagnostics implemented in a sys sensors a sys sensors has an inbuilt electronic functionality testing which is giving the diagnostic coverage sc this is systematic capability SC systematic capability is achieved when the equipment used to implement any safety function is designed using procedures intended to prevent systematic design errors. So this avoids the systematic capability is a parameter used in the SIS design. It is helping to prevent any design errors. So we understood about the few terminologies which will be frequently used in the safety instrumented system design. So brief explanation about the different terminologies used in the SIS have been detailed. The SIS users, operation and maintenance personnel need to get acquainted with the terminologies and use in safety instrumented system for better understanding and working on the safety instrumented system. Though this slide, this complete presentation is referring only to the terminologies, I would emphasize uh, the users to read this, uh, view the video multiple times and understand the terminologies for the better understanding of the safety instrumented system. This will be used frequently in the forthcoming presentations. Thank you.